you're saying it's not true you know look at that's happened that is what happened that is what i was dealing with at the time and that i'm still dealing with now because say he was he was sections and i hate talking about this bit because um it's triggering for some people but also it's not my story to tell um and anyway so effectively he's he's passed on photo he passed on a photo to her um with the idea that it's for her eyes only and then what she has done is she has cascaded that photo out to people who do not like him um she's tried to get um a gentleman called fact freak to do an investigation room she's passed the photos all she basically she's passed the photos around as idle gossip um and these were were really it, it was a personal photo that that shouldn't have been should he have sent it in the first place it's not for me to say you know, I've never been to the point where I am that desperate for somebody to stop bullying me and stop talking about me, you know, that, that I, I've gone to that length. So I can't say because that's not my journey. But should she have cascaded them out to people, especially people like Mama Kaz, who will just use that as rocket fuel and ignite whatever fight that she can do? No, I wouldn't have done that. So... I've not seen his Insta store, I know. Um, but I've been in Zach's... Uh, there's, there's just been a lot of... The, the problem is, is that when you start to align yourself with a group of people, that group of people feel that they have a lot of power and they want to try and retain that power, how, you know, whatever means possible. And usually that is to... Um, to dog down others who, who try and thrive as well. What they've got to bear in mind, though, is that somebody else's success doesn't take away from yours. She had she had some really good followers who were loyal and they would go there day after day, ten o'clock, and listen, you know, to her little, um, her thoughts and opinions on stuff. And I don't think there's a problem with that. What I think I thought was a problem with the boxes afterwards, because she would just sit there and listen as people would tear into each other. And I'll tell you why she's doing that. It's because. Um, she very. I was in Canadian Angie's live last night. And she had two content creators tear, talking over each other and tearing each other a new arsehole. They were going at each other. They were saying awful stuff to each other, accusing them of all sorts. And she sat there and she, she, although she was attempting to mute them, she didn't kick them out. And I'll tell you for why. It's because whilst they were both sat there, they were both being gifted by their followers. And she can take 30% of it. Money is the root of all evil on here. So when you're sat there wondering why some people aren't being kicked out of a box, it's because one, they're making it entertaining. Two, people are jumping in there and having a look, seeing what's happening and gifting. The numbers are going up and then the person is taking sat there taking 30% of that person's, uh, if it's in a box like that, any gifts that you give, the host gets 30% and that's why she wasn't kicking them out. And that part is disgusting because both of those people were distressed um but she didn't kick them out it should i kept on putting in saying in the comments it should never have got to that point she kicked you out well you probably weren't bringing enough money in if pete if tiktok stopped gifts um don't everyone would just be selling shout on tiktok shop It would be good to hear Miss Red side of it. It would. I don't think that she can... I think... Do you know... Right, okay. This is what this is what I would do if I was Miss Red, okay? This is what I would do. I would... I would come on and I, I would say, I have let my ego infect every single thing that i have said and done i would say in the past 18 months to two years my ego had got so big that i was putting my success over other people's mental health and that can't happen that can never happen but i did it i accept full responsibility for this by the way all the gifts given today everything will be donated to mind charity what I did was vile and disgusting 
I should never have done it, but I did it. And I have to sit with that every single day. I have to take accountability for that. To Zach, I am so, so sorry that I did that. I should never have done it, but I did. Um, to anybody else affected, I should never have done it, but I did. And I am sorry. This is what I am going to do in future to stop that happening. One of the things is to stop um, box battles for now because I need to stop hiding behind other people. Um, I am one creator, I stand alone and anybody, I, I, I don't need the friendships and everything. At the moment, I'm just bringing toxicity to the rest of my friends as well. So I'm gonna step back from that as well on this platform. They still be my friends in real life, but on this platform, and, and I need to take a long, hard look at myself, at how I managed to let all of this happen and what do I need to do to revert back to the old Miss, Miss Red, the one who just enjoyed a gossip. So I'm going to take some time away and seriously think about it because I clearly, something's not quite right up here and I need to, I need to make an effort and work on myself and I will come back an improved person, but I will not come back until I've got to that stage. That's what she should say. I don't think she will. Cheers to finger. <laughs> That's what, I, I, I truly believe that is what she should, it should be something like that. No deflection, no deflection. Ha hold your hands up. Yes, I have been an awful person. I'm not too bad, thanks Stephen. How are you? Just gossip him. Message her the speech. She's not fucking using that. Nah. That's mine. That's mine for when I fuck up that one. It's not my right script. <laughs> I still don't know what's happened, but I'll just go with it. I don't like her personally. Um, there's loads of stuff on the FYP. It'd be too much for me. There's been so much, and the, the, the problem is, is that I don't. What I don't want to do is, is give the wrong version of events because obviously, ah, I'm. T I, I've. I've taken from. Um, I've built my own little collage of what's happened from what I've seen and everything and what I don't want to do is spread misinformation and miss stuff out and all that sort of stuff you would be much better just to look on the FYP because I don't want to be part of of dogging on somebody that maybe doesn't need it or or whatever oh thank you so you know my ears are very dry at the back. What's happening there? I never thought I'd have to moisturise my, my lobe before. Maybe I do. Oh, thank you for the heart, me. Someone took a photo of Alpha Bar buying wine and something else yesterday. Watch by Twix. Packet crisps. It's called getting older. Oh, block you. Who said that? Pokemon gods. <laughs> Why? I can't relate to her. I can't. I know, I'm nearly 40. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm all right. Thank you. I'm good. Probably because I got I got blocked on my other account. So a lot of people are just finding me. I love getting older. I do, well, yeah, I was going to say you get older, you get wiser. But then you look at what's happening here and you just think maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. I don't know. And it, it makes me laugh when people say that this app, this app is toxic. It's a toxic place. It's got it's nothing but negativity. No, your For You page, your community, what you choose to follow, what you are engaging in, that is toxic. TikTok is actually a really good place. And you know, I've met some. I've met some amazing people here. I've such. I've had such positive experiences with with people on TikTok. I think it's amazing. I think it's amazing for people who have got mental health issues. Um, it allows them to engage, communicate with other people, and feel like you're part of something. Because there's nothing worse than being on your own and feeling like you're not part of anything. If you if you're sat there thinking that this app is toxic, a waste of space 
and you know that everybody is vile and can't be trusted and everything then you are watching the wrong people it's as simple as that because it's not you get out of it what you put into it if all you are putting in is negativity and toxicity and shite that is all you will get out of it the rest of us we're loving life and we're on the outside looking in going what the hell are you doing what are you doing to us you're just a load of peggy mitchell's pat butchers it's like a soap and we're just watching you going what the fuck is that not spoke stories today i did get a massive bunch of flowers donated here uh, sent here uh, because she was out of the hospital so is it about the lives you go in and what yeah this is the thing you see is you can watch all the lives and you can watch all the negativity and stuff like that just don't let just don't ingest it just let it just let it just bounce off you know they're treating it like real life yeah i mean what i don't like to do is i don't like to belittle the app itself because the app is very important to some people um you know to me it might not be my my life but it's a big part of it um and you know for everyone saying that it's damaging for mental for people's mental health it's not always it was amazing for my mental health because a lot of you were there when i was literally the lowest of the low that i have ever been a lot of you were there not only did you witness it but you supported me and i didn't feel like i was on my own it allowed me to meet some amazing people who you know who were just such good support for me and it allows you to meet people that are on your level as well tiktok is an amazing place for that it's letting it's tiktok's letting single mums earn a bit of cash you know it's letting people like me who have always just gone from paycheck to paycheck never having savings never having experiences being able to afford anything like that to be able to do stuff like that it can be an amazing place but it is what you make of it if all you put out is shit it's all you're going to get back since you first came on <laughs> videos i've done that for others oh thank you it, but it's it, it's it has been both ways it has been both ways it's no co it's no coincidence that the do you remember when i used to come on live like near enough every night i was coming on live an awful lot because i was lonely i was lonely and i didn't feel like i had a place i literally i felt like i belonged nowhere so tiktok allowed me to sort of have my own little place where where i felt part of it do you know what i mean and that it's that for a lot of people so people can sit there and say you know oh it's just an app you need to get a fucking life and everything for a lot of people this is their lives because they have nothing else at the moment whether it be due to mobility issues due to mental health unemployment having young children having disabled children whatever is stopping you from going out there and engaging but like we used to say pre-pandemic thank you ursula that's it's their life so don't let's not diminish it and you know it's only an app when you've had enough of it it's only an app when you're trying to prove a point and you've been a shit house and you don't want people you know to take it too seriously and people who pick and choose when it's a kid's app oh it's a kid's app you shouldn't be doing stuff like that yeah it is a kid's app or it was a kid's app not now we've took over and it wasn't a kid's app when you were sat there in a bikini top jiggling everything about the other week was it or when you were calling people to see you next tuesday while she'd had like five vodkas on a live being messy it wasn't a kid's app then was it brenda they're on mine sophia well no actually they used to be but it was getting a bit much so i had to i had to put in different searches and start watching all that sort of stuff mine's now my for you page is a lot of plants a lot of gardening all that sort of stuff and then i'll go on and watch the fyp shows thank you paisley on here so much because i love how people can save you they really can they really can oh thank you for the heart me 
it's not the real world, it's just... But to some people, this is their world. It was, it was, it was mine for a while. And I'm, when I say it is their world, I'm not being derogatory and I'm not trying to minimise or, you know, or say they're wrong for it. If it's all you have at that time or it's all you want at that time, absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. You know, if it brings you closer to your people and giving you purpose, I'm all for it. All for it. I really don't mind, you know. But if this is the only communication that you get in on a daily basis, and a lot of times it is for me, I live alone, don't forget. Mr. Lauren's only here a couple of days a week, you know. If it's all that you're, it's all you're consuming, try and make it positive stuff. Because if all you're consuming is the, the, the dark stuff, oh, thank you, Ali. Then, yeah. Keep it on her, she's 18 and I don't look at her page at all. My friends on here and I can talk to them off the app, but I've met them on here and I'm so grateful for it. I've met some amazing people, absolutely amazing people on here. I really have. And it's people that I never would have, I never would have, have met otherwise, you know. I'll never, I'll never belittle TikTok to saying it's just an app because for some people it's not. And I don't want them to feel stupid you know with the app being for a lot of people like I say it's a source of income source of entertainment source of company so I'll never slag it off ever of course on the drama some of them appear on my FYP if if your FYP is getting a little bit too much and you, you're not liking what it is you're going to have to search for the stuff that you would like to see I love DIY stuff gardening stuff you know plant stuff but my um my FYP was just full of drama and it was getting to the point where I didn't want to I didn't want to um, log in and have a look because it was getting a bit much but I've changed my algorithm now because I started watching other stuff like that and now you know what I'll do um, all you have to do is you watch a few videos of the positive nature to full um, you know watch them in their full entirety and then the algorithm will show you more of that so CJ, thank you so much. Your your algorithm shows you what you're consuming the most. Hi, Chloe. So when you watch a video, to, so let's just say you've got a video of CLA on another rant, and you know, and you watch that to the end then that tells the algorithm, I want to see more of that. I watched that all the way to the end. Or I watched at least the first 24 seconds of it. Um, so it will show you more. So if you just, if you know, it comes up, you can't be asked with it or whatever, just scroll up onto your next thing. If you're scrolling up immediately, it's going to show you less and less stuff. And then the stuff that you would like to see more of, like I say, I was really getting into my gardening and my planting and stuff. So I searched for it and then I watched those videos in their entirety. Now, all I get is plant stuff and I love it. It's brilliant. Hi, Becca. She is Sophia, isn't she? This is the thing you see though is that when they are just sat there doing nothing and chatting the numbers aren't in there and people aren't interested their ardent fans are but it's it it's not the fans that bring you the fame on here it's the haters it's the haters that bring you fame because there are more haters for these people than there are fans so it's no coincidence that when these people are there kicking off being rude you know saying all these sorts of slurs and everything it's no it, then the numbers go up and it's those numbers that they're looking for. So they're going to have to do more and more stuff like this. Same with Alpha Bar. Speed via Fat Freak now. Um, that's it, yeah. I mean, let's face it, if you want the true story, then you're not going to go to the actual people. <laughs> oh, is it Holly? why that Becky person doesn't delete all of her horrible comments. I'll tell you for why. It's because of the engagement. Because the more people comment on it, the more people will see the video. And the more people that see the video, she makes more money. So I think that some of the stuff that is said to her is vile. Thank you, Money Hack. Thank you. I think some of the stuff that is said to her is vile. 
absolutely vile. But would I keep the comments on? If I do a video and I'm getting called, you know, uh, what some of the stuff that she says, I can't because I'll, I'll get took off. Um, if I get called some of the stuff that she says, um, the only thing that probably would make me feel that little bit better is knowing that every hate comment that they leave, I'm making money on that. So maybe I would just let them go. Do you remember when I did that, I did that thing about the Smithy family? And I had loads of people having a go at me in the comments and stuff like that. And I was video replying and all that. I was making money out of it. You know. It's, you know, if, if she's... If she's um, comfortable enough to, to not take that sort of stuff on board, and she genuinely shouldn't, then, um, then yeah, for, make money from it. Make money from the hate comments and the shares, you know. And people tagging their friends and then them going and viewing it and all that sort of stuff. The numbers are fantastic, so... Oh. just felt a bit short changed without the drama I think when you can when you can consume drama and sort of as to the, to the level oh, I've got cramp when you can consume it to the level that you want to then famous darling please when you come off have a look at the video I just alright I will do I will do we were all I know I'm a nice stitch, uh, not your basic mama having a laugh. My views went up on a lot of people. They do love a drama. We all love a drama. You know, or most of us do. I, hand, hands up, I love a drama. I love it. I love it as long as I'm not in it. You know? I love a shit show. So the one the one today with Evil Queen, I did have to I had to log off a little bit just because I thought it was a little bit mean spirited. Um, you know, is she justified? Yeah, probably, you know, because it just felt uncomfortable, you know, but that was my problem. Drama does grow your account, yeah. I made I got so many I got so many followers on that Smithy family stuff. Why do you think I would why do you think I let it keep going? I could have blocked those people. No, they were making me money. I don't know how Doris is. She got some flowers delivered here yesterday, so I took them over, but that was about it. I just caught her as she was, you know, leaving out. And I got a mug. Yeah, I got a mug. I can't believe people believed I fed my son catfish. <laughs> people, yeah, but people love to be outraged on here, don't they? No, they love nothing more than a soapbox. Myself included. Myself included. Beryl's all right. My sister's going to visit her today. Um, she's saying she wants to come home, but she's got a UTI and they put her on some new water tablets and stuff like that. So we'll wait and see how she is. A lot of them, I, I was watching a live last night Um and they don't un they don't understand either they don't understand the actual meaning of taking accountability, or they're trying to switch the whole meaning of the word. Um, I took accountability. I told you it wasn't me. Well, that's not taking accountability then. That's you just again deflecting. And what a lot of people will do is they won't listen to what the other person is saying, take it on board and think, actually, have I been an asshole? No, what they'll do is automatically they're already thinking of their next argument before they've even before they they're not even listening to the person. They're just thinking, what's my rebuttal? What can I say? How can I throw stones at that person and make sure that the shit sticks? What can I do? You know. There are no receipts that could make this better. There are no receipts. No receipts whatsoever. She's she's created she didn't create a platform on hate, but she's built the, the platform on hate. That's what she's done. And she can keep doing that if she wants to, but she just got to bear in mind that she's forever going to um, have these sorts of dramas all of the time. I'm talking about Miss Red. She's she's harboured and fostered an environment where people out each other people, but not every person, just some people. If I like them, I'm not going to talk about them. If I don't like them, 
than me and my, you know, 100,000 followers and the five 5,000 people in the room, we're all going to, we're all going to dump down on this one person. That's what's being created. I don't think, I'd like to think it wasn't her intention to start off with. I'd like to think that she was literally just somebody opening up a live because she was sick of doing the housework and she just fancied a natter with people. If that, that party can't go together, it can't go on, surely. She doesn't have 100... Oh, shit. If that party goes on... Good grief. To be a fly on the wall in that room. No, Diane, that's CLA, that. Do you know what? If you don't, if you don't know, if you don't know Miss Red and you don't know of the drama that's happening and everything, or any of the people that I'm talking about, you're probably better not knowing, because it just makes you think that the world is shit. You know, rubber bore me on. <laughs> Can we have a list of stuff that you would rather do than go to that party right now? Do you know what? Another thing, <laughs> another thing that that party sort of. Do you ever remember the popular girl in school going around, okay, and you were sat there wondering, I wonder if I'll get an invite, I wonder if I'll get an invite, and then not getting it and seeing everyone getting excited about the party. That is how, not how I felt, but I feel that that's what, that's the aim. That's, that was the aim that it was supposed to be. It just that only the elite can go. I mean, anyone can hire a, a, a function room. The reason that you have to be so careful about who's going to your party is because you don't know whose head's going to get kicked in. That's why. Because you've pissed off that many people. Mm. Hi, Charlotte. Yeah. It's it was it was very much that sort of fact. You can't come to my party. Oh, you said that's about me. Well, you can't come to my party. All right. <laughs> okay. This is a. And then, then the thing is though that people being worried that somebody you can have some vigilantes go down and see people face to face and start fighting with them, bitch. Half these people can't be they can't leave the house because they've got social anxiety, or they wouldn't leave the house because they couldn't be asked. So believe me, it could be round the corner from my house. It could be round the party could be round the corner from my house, and I would still be reluctant to put a bra on and go outside and and have a word with somebody. Why? When I could do it from the comfort of my own home. Your party will be fine. <laughs> have your party. Have, have a good time, you know. But no one's going. No one's, no one's going to have a go at anybody. You know. Doc's in it. How can you dock something that's in the future? How can you dock someone's location when they're not even there yet? The, the police would just turn around and say, well, it's not really doxing because you're not there presently at this moment in time. And if you feel that it's a danger to you, society, you know, it's a danger to you, somebody at the party, then just don't have the party. You can't, you can't have a go at somebody for, for, for doxing something that's not even current. There's so many people, there's so many people on here who think that they know the law and stuff like that. But, I mean, it's not even law, it's common sense. Too many, there's too many armchair solicitors. That's what that says. Exactly. Change, change the location of it. Well, quite frankly, you could have it in a fucking phone box now for the amount of people going. <laughs> you could hire the... <laughs> The McDonald's party bus. <laughs> and there's still be standing room. <laughs> Fuck me. I'll pick them up in my Fiat 500. Have it in there. At least they will Yeah, exactly.
No, she didn't go live. <sighs> Is your mum still stuck in the back? <sighs> Took her forever to get out of there, didn't it? Thank you, Susanna. Don't mention anything about new details to EQ. To change location again. It's like I say though. It just it doesn't matter how many times people say this is where it is. no one no one's gonna the people invited don't even fucking wanna go. So imagine what it's gonna be like for the people that weren't invited. You can't come to my party. Good. Cause it sounds like I'd need a crash helmet to go to it. My Venus flytrap, she's outside now, is she? Uh, she's outside now because the weather's a bit warmer um, and she can catch lots of flies. So she's been outside for the past couple of days. Plus she likes rainwater as well. I can't give her tap water, so she's out there. So if it means putting the bra on, I'm not going. <sighs> have, you see, uh, have you seen, what's he in Gilbert Grape? I'm having a party and you're not invited. <laughs> Cool not going and seeing all the mess unfold. Well, we wouldn't have been invited anyway. Are you still feeding it? No, she's out. She's. Um, it, I found it too traumatic that time, but because she's outside, she's got more chance of catching. I've put a sort of amongst other flowers. Um, well, amongst some some flowers. Um, so she'll catch. She'll catch stuff now. See says so she doesn't uh, anything with anyone anymore. She's tired. CLA is her own drama. This is the thing is that CLA doesn't actually need anyone. She hasn't got the tolerance for it. She hasn't got the mental capacity for it. So she is better off on her own. Unfortunately, she's more successful when she's kicking off. I don't think it'll eat bees. I hope not. It better not because I love my bees. Mine's the only garden around here that's got loads of flowers in it. And I always get bees. Love it. But I only wanted to collect flies. I don't want it to collect bees and spiders. I don't like spiders. I hate them, but they help with the flies. So 